So today I want to show you how to use estimates inside of Wave Accounting. If you're new to the idea of estimates, estimates are not a real transaction. What I mean by this is an estimate never appears anywhere on your income statement or your balance sheet. You can think of an estimate as an imaginary invoice. It's something that you can give to your customers to show them what the costs may look like should they decide to actually contract your services. Sometimes estimates are called quotes or bids, but it's all the same idea. You most often see estimates in service-based companies such as contractors, web designers, or photographers where the customer typically wants to see what the costs are and agree to those costs before contracting your services. So you may use estimates in your company, you may not, but I want to show you where they are and how to use them for your business. So you can see on our menus off to the left that there isn't a menu option for estimates. If you want to use estimates in Wave Accounting, you'll find them in the invoices page. So let's go over here to the invoices page. And you can see up at the top we have a tab for estimates. So let's select our estimates. And let's go ahead and create a new estimate. This is the add an estimate page and as you can see it looks a lot like an invoice because like I said an estimate really is just an imaginary invoice. So let's create an estimate for our friends at Doe Enterprises. And then here we've got a couple of date options. The date field at the top is where you would put the date for the estimate, the date the estimate was created. The expires on date is the last date you will honor the prices that are on this estimate. So basically your customer has until that date to make a decision and if they don't they're going to need to get a new estimate. So let's say we're going to give Doe Enterprises a month to make their decision. And then if you have a purchase orders or sales order that you've received from your customer that you're using to generate this estimate, you can put that reference number here below. You can also add subheadings, footers, or memo lines just like you could with an invoice over here. Let's go ahead and add some products and services. Let's say they want three hours of consulting time and we'll throw in the DVD. So let's save that estimate. And this is what the estimate would look like for the customer. Now this is ready to email or print a PDF uh, and send off to my customer. And then, like I said, they've got a month to figure out whether or not they actually want to purchase the services that I've listed in this estimate. So let's imagine that several days have gone by and Doe Enterprises has reviewed and they've decided to go ahead and accept the amounts that are in my estimate. So I do the consulting hours, I give them the DVD, and I'm ready to invoice them for those services. I could just click this convert to invoice button up here at the top, but after several days have gone by, it's unlikely that I'm still sitting on this page. So I want to show you where else you can find that convert to invoice. So if we go back to the estimates menu, you can find your estimate on this page here. And then if you hover over the very right of its row, you'll get the drop down and you can select convert to invoice. It'll prompt me and ask me if I want to convert. I'll say yes. And now it opens up a draft invoice for me to edit and save. So let's say, for example, we actually ended up using four hours of consulting service, which they agreed to pay. So I'm going to change the invoice to four hours and we'll pay off of that. And then I can save this invoice and as you can see up here at the top, it's still linked to the estimate that I created. And that is how estimates work inside of Wave Accounting. Now what are the pros and cons? One of the things I love about Wave's estimates is that expiration date I showed you earlier. So if I come back in here and create another estimate, for Doe Enterprises. Let's leave this expiration date as today just for this example and we'll say they want another DVD. If I look at my estimates page you can see that it's flagged red as expired 
when this invoice or when this estimate has expired and will no longer be honored. So it's really easy to sort between what estimates you still have outstanding and which ones have long since expired. I do like that feature. Where I think estimates are still lacking in WAVE, however, is there isn't any ability to close an estimate. So you can see here that even though we've created an invoice from estimate number one, it still looks exactly the same way it looked prior to creating that invoice. And even though I've already created an invoice to fully invoice everything off of this estimate, I can still come in and convert it to another invoice. And it creates an additional draft invoice number 12. And if I come back here to the invoices page, I could keep doing this over and over and over again and just get more and more and more draft invoices for the same estimate. There's nothing that stops you from duplicating these. Now, we're working with a very small list of estimates right now, so it's pretty easy to keep track of. But as this list gets longer and longer, it may get very hard for you to keep track of which estimates you've already invoiced for, which ones are still outstanding with a customer, which ones a customer has rejected and you no longer need, and just keeping track of the different open and closed estimates can be very difficult inside of WAVE. So if I could make a recommendation to them, one thing that I would like to see is to have a closed status in addition to saved, sent, and expired for estimates so that you can filter by estimates that are no longer wanted. Now, you could theoretically just delete them once you're finished with them. Like if a customer, if you give a bid to a customer and they don't accept it, I could go in and delete that estimate. But I like to keep that history because the next time I go to bid that job, I'd like to look at some of the estimates of similar jobs I've done in the past to help me with my bidding. And also to keep a record of what bids were, were won, what bids were not won, and why. So I like to keep that history and for that reason, I feel like we need a closed status, not just a expired and saved and sent status. So that is one of the limitations to estimates right now inside of WAVE. Granted, however, that estimates in WAVE are still a fairly new feature, and I anticipate that we'll see additional changes and improvements coming out with estimates here in the coming months. But for now, if you're looking for estimates in your accounting software to be able to send to your customers Waves estimates are a great way to get started.